kind of wanted to look like the other girls and be skinny, you know. My weight's different than other people's, and I feel kind of bad about it, but I wanted to change that. I've been, like, a sl slightly chubby all my life, and lately, with the move to uh, a new city, I had just kind of gotten a little depressed, and it just kind of snowballed and got worse and easier and easier to overeat and eat junk food. Everybody else is, like, having more and more athletic than others, and, and I feel like I'm more behind, and people are, like, it's like a scale, like, People are up here and I'm down there, really, basically. School's a struggle. I mean, I, I get stressed out, so I go home and eat. And that's a, that's a big struggle for me, school. I'm tired of it. I can't get a girlfriend because of it, and I'm just tired of it. So I started looking up camps, and I found Camp Shane. Camp Shane is essentially a fitness, nutrition, and weight loss camp for kids and young adults. So we'll take anyone from the age of 7 to the age of 22. We take anybody that's been struggling with their weight, with food, or with you know behavioral eating issues, and you put them in an environment with other people that have had problems with that, and we kind of all work on it together. It's really nice having um, people that are like all in the same boat as you because you know that you're not going to get like teased about like how much you lost or how much you can lift. No one says anything, but I just feel like I'm different than everyone in like the weight wise way. So I thought maybe I'd just come here and change some of that. My parents are really, er, really healthy and they don't eat bad. I eat really good at home, but whenever I go somewhere, and sometimes I even ride my bike to the store just to buy unhealthy food, because it, I like it and it just tastes good. My family isn't, hasn't always been the healthiest family. And, and you know, because, mostly because of my mom's, of my mom's um, breast cancer and my, and you know, having two working parents and it's just been very hectic and we've been eating it out a lot and it's just not always live the healthiest life but i hope to change that junior year and uh senior year i got really stressed out and had a lot of pressure from a lot of different sources to do really well because my parents and all my family members all went to good colleges so I was really stressed about grades and schoolwork and it led me to kind of like eat poorly. What led me here is just to focus on like improving lifestyle choices and like really thinking about what I want to do in the future with regards to my health and my nutrition. We work on the whole nutritional aspect. We've got a whole nutrition program Sports-wise, Camp Chain really focuses on getting children active, so we'll try like a variety of sports. We have anything from basketball to kickball to you know soccer, tennis, dodgeball, anything. It's just anything you could think of we'll probably try here. So I really like that. I've had kids go home that say, you know, I'm going to go to soccer or I'm going to go home and I'm going to try kickboxing. And I'm like, you know, you should because based on what I've seen here, you're doing really well. But the overall point of Camp Chain is really to take children or teenagers that need help with their food habits or with anything like that and teach them because you can't just take a kid and bring them to camp and tell them okay you're just gonna exercise for like X amount of hours like they do on The Biggest Loser which by the way is really unhealthy um, and just expect them to lose weight like it's all about how it functions in their head and there's just so much more to it that we really strive to hit here and drive that home for them and so that is really why I work here, is to try to help the kids and obviously, you know, the teenagers, the young adults especially, learn to treat their bodies the way that they're meant to be treated. Because our society, unfortunately, from like birth pretty much, forces us to make the wrong choices with the industry and with all of the advertisements. Like our generation is a hot mess because of all of that. I want to feel like I'm healthy, fit, and I can join the group. The ultimate motivator for me is just like, life is short, so the quality of life should definitely be as high as it could possibly be. And I knew that I was like doing the wrong thing 
And it's just not like, it's hard. It's not, there is no easy way to do it. I've never been around an environment like this um, with other people going through the same thing I am. And, it's, and it just kind of warms my heart when my friends support me when I'm having a rough time. Out here, when I see people, I'm like not alone at all. I lost 32 pounds as a result of Camp Shane, and I feel a lot better about myself. I actually couldn't fit into the shirt when we started, and now I'd say it fits pretty well. Kids are definitely more comfortable while they're here, and I think that's a big part of them embracing themselves and like the whole journey that they're on with the weight loss and the fitness aspect of things. Um, I've had campers tell me that, you know, at school they're bullied and that they've been bullied by even their bus drivers just for being overweight. And, like, there's absolutely no other reason other than their weight. And we have to kind of talk to them and be like, you know, you do you. Like, other people's comments about you or your body say more about them than it does about you any day. And it's just really a shame that we have as much bullying as we do. But bullying obviously stems from insecurities and from children that are also, you know, possibly being neglected at home. And so we really talk to our campers and try to reach them that way and let them know, you know, if someone is hurting you or harassing you, A, stand up to them, but also understand that they are probably coming from somewhere equally difficult. Not that that makes the behavior acceptable, but there is a reason for the way people act out. And you just have to put up your walls and be confident and secure in your body and with your decisions and your life. And we really try to get them to understand that before they leave so that they make good choices when they go home. Like, that's all I want for them.